the royal historian told express.co.uk. I am in agreement that yes, both sides need to talk in a neutral place. I think Harry, and I have been among the Sussexes' stalwart defenders, has gone a bit over the top recently. There definitely needs to be a conversation on different levels, because it is apparent and obvious that Harry is hurting, Harry is bitter. And there is some real entitlement too. The royal commentator cited, as an example, the Duke of Sussex's recounting in spare how William was always granted more than him as the heir to the throne, including a bigger half of the bedroom in their nursery at Balmoral Castle. Moose Koenig continued, Harry and Charles are still father and son, they would have an opportunity to iron out and work on their differences with a similar meeting. The meeting should take place out of the limelight, we should nt even know it is taking place until it's over and the palace issues a statement about it. In the end, they need to figure this out on their own, it's something between a father, a son, a brother. The feud between the Sussexes and the rest of the royals, Moose Koenig added, it's merely a family issue, it doesn't affect the constitution given Prince Harry's minor role in the firm and his position in the line of succession. Moose Koenig believes other royals who may have felt slighted by Prince Harry with his recent comments should take part in the talks too, as well as experienced aides trusted by all sides. Compromise and understanding on all sides would be pivotal in a similar meeting for it to be a success, the royal historian added. She said, I certainly would want King Charles, Prince William and other members of the royal family to sit down with Harry, not for the Duke to interrogate them, he needs to listen to them as well and I think that's what's missing, his narrative is angry. The important thing is that there has to be compromise on both sides.